What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are gonna talk about editing for beginners. And I know very well that editing is actually probably the biggest problem for photographers because it requires a long time before actually mastering and knowing how to use a complicated software. But you are in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna show you a new tool that is called Pixlr that has been recently redesigned to help beginners actually achieve their goals with editing. And is extremely user-friendly and actually has two different branches. Pixlr X that has very basic and intuitive function but yet is super useful and has loads of features that can actually help you achieve great results and also Pixlr E which is a little bit more complicated with much more function and much more flexibility but in this video I want to show you the first one because you can actually do a lot of different things and I'm very excited to share with you all the kind of the main features give you an overview on what you can do with Pixlr X. The first thing that you need to know is that it's actually a web-based software that means you don't have have to download it on your computer but you can access it directly from your browser and in any kind of computer that you want and also it is free to access so you can go at any time and start editing right away but it offers also a premium subscription that allows you to access to multiple features and to also have access to Pixar X and Pixar E with all their premium features now without further ado let's jump in Pixar X so when you go on pixel.com you'll be able to choose if you want to start with Pixar X or Pixar E now in this tutorial we're going to just have a look and an overview of Pixel X, which is the easiest one that allows for edits, design, animation in a very simple and quick way. Now, the first screen is about opening an image or start with a new one or also with a template, which is actually one of the main features of Pixel X. So in this case, you'll be able to choose from Instagram post, Instagram story, YouTube thumbnail, YouTube art, Facebook post, Pinterest, Twitter, even business cards, LinkedIn company, and so many different templates. So in this case, you have some recommended, but if you want to have, let's say, an Instagram post, then we can check out all these different templates. You can load more, or you can also do your research. And maybe you can start picking one, let's say this happy birthday, you're going to use this template. And then here, you'll be able to access the main kind of board of Pixel X which has the layer on the right that you can modify so this one for example as you can see is the background then you have the text now that is selected when we click on it then there is this text then there is this image and then eventually you can add multiple layers to then have like shapes text frame image or an empty one if you want to for example draw on it now let's close this one I really like this template section because it allows also to have ideas for maybe Instagram stories Instagram posts or maybe Pinterest or maybe Twitter for both your business as also you as an individual. So I think it's really interesting. Then the next thing that you can do is also starting from an image, from a stock image. And here you'll be able to write whatever you want, even portrait, let's say. And then you'll be able to access this huge stock image library that actually congregates from different websites that you can use for free. So we have a lot of different portraits. Eventually we can also write portrait mail maybe see what comes up. Yeah, you've got a lot of male portraits, let's say. Maybe if we want to start using this one, you just double click on it and then you'll be able to choose the format and how big you want to edit this photo. So if you want it original, this is 3.9 thousand pixels. Then there is ultra HD, full HD or for web, which is a little bit smaller. Now let's apply the full HD one. And then from here again, you have the same format as we've seen before. So on the left, you're going to have all the functions that Pixlr X offers on the right you're gonna have the layers and then on the bottom you'll be able to zoom in zoom out and also save eventually the portrait or the image that you've been editing then the last one you have updates so and this one you'll be able to see everything that is new in the software in case they update it maybe some features maybe they have more templates maybe they have a uh, kind of tutorials maybe they have explanation about for example this is the animation tool which is a new one that is actually pretty cool so always check out this update section because you'll be able to discover new features and new stuff now let's start again with a portrait actually And then from here in this video, I want to showcase you all the kind of main feature that this web-based software actually offers. So in the first part, you'll be able to actually act on the background. So if you want to unlock it now on the right, actually, you see that it's locked. So if you want to unlock it, you can just click on it. And then from here, you'll be able to transform this layer that is acting as a background. If you want, you can rotate it and maybe change the dimension. So from here, for example, you can rotate it. And then these are the six main panels that you can access also from the left side so let's say this is kind of a summary you can duplicate you can flip it vertically you can flip it horizontally so that's what it does 
All right, cool. Now let's reset the image and let's go with the second, which is actually an animation. So in case you wanted to make this as a video, then you can select one of the new animations that you can use to then have some presets and have it a little bit more exciting. Then the third button is actually layout and template and set the page size. So here you'll be able to resize the image or set the page size in case you want to change the format. Then you'll be able also to add text in the next one. And here you can add a new text. So you'll be able to customize it, uh, whatever you want. Here you start from zero. So you write a text, you change the font, you change the filling color, the opacity, size, line spacing, letter spacing, everything that is about text. Maybe you want to have a background. Maybe you want to have an outline. Maybe you want to have a shadow and everything about it. But also what you can do when you add a text, you can pick something that is already made. So here again, we have some very, very cool templates. And if you are a business or if you're on an individual that you're trying to promote something, definitely these templates with text will help you a lot. So for example, we can use this arrow. They're really like, and if you want to cover the face and just focus on the t-shirt because you're actually selling the t-shirt, then you can move around, use these text, use these templates, and then have fun with it. So when you actually add one of these templates, then all the layers will be actually added on the right side so that you can modify each of them. So for example, if I want to change the color of this rectangle, then I just need to click on it. And then here on the left, you'll be able to actually change the color. For example, we want to change maybe to your red, and then we're going to pick also the arrow that is below and then we're going to change this one to another color let's say blue and then this text maybe you want to make it with a different color is green maybe yeah this one I don't know obviously this looks pretty ugly but it's just to show you that each element that compose actually a template is modifiable is customizable on its own which is pretty cool now let's delete all these layers And then the next menu that we have is actually adding an element on top of it. So same thing kind of as text, but in this case, you can add some animals, you can add some bubbles, you can add a shape, you can add arrows. And in the search bar, you can type whatever you want. Let's say we want an arrow. You click OK, and then you'll be able to pick between quite a few actually examples. In this case, you can see here you have 40 arrows. You click view all, and then you'll be able to take whatever you want. You click on it, and then this will be added to actually the image itself. And then you can rotate it. You have the layer there as well. So you can actually go in a range and style and change the rotation also manually on also the position in case you want to change this. There you go. Let's cancel this one. If you want, you can also obviously add another image on top of it as well. And then you have loads of different options on what kind of elements you can add. Then we go in the next one. This is about cropping and rotating. In this case, you can just rotate it right. This is normal in like any software. You can do this. It's pretty standard, but it is sometimes it's useful, especially if you need to post on Instagram. Maybe you want to flip it horizontally and then change also the ratio and the size of the image. Then we got the next panel, which is actually cutting out things. So this is super useful when you need to cut out and have some transparent parts and this will do it automatically. So if we do, for example, magic cut out, then you'll be able to click a point and then pixel X will actually try to do its best with AI to cut that part. Now in this image is very difficult because the background is very similar to the color of the skin. If we click on the black, for example, this did a much better job because it's more confident. There is a better border, let's say. Then you can use some shape cut out. So if you want to just maybe cut a triangle wherever you want you can do this by drawing it right here let's say and this will cut in this image a triangle so that you can showcase another layer that can be put for example below so if i want to put a text i'm going to put the layer just below this and then i'm going to write hello then we can grab the text maybe move it on this side and there you go now you see that it's cut out because these little squares that you see that are like gray and dark gray are actually mean that this is a transparent part. Same thing with the cap. So if I move the text just right here, the cap is actually transparent. Now let's go back and revert to the original image. There you go. And just to give you more example, you can do the magic cutout, which is automatic, or you can also draw some cutout. So if you want to draw something, then you just do it manually and this will cut out that part. And then again, it will be transparent or you can use a lasso. So in this case, you're just drawing it and then you see that kind of line when you release it, boom, it's going to cut out that part. 
and you can also invert the cutout. All right, let's revert again. And then the next one is actually adjusting the image on its own. So you'll be able to access different menus with all the basic adjustments, let's say. You'll be able to change colors with vibrance, with saturation, with temperature, tint, hue, whatever you want. And then you can customize and change the colors depending how you like them. And also the saturation, maybe let's leave it like this. There you go. And you can use also automatic features like pop. So this will make the image pop. We're gonna bump up a little bit the saturation, the contrast maybe. You can change it to black and white or you can change it to auto that will adjust automatically based on AI all these settings that you can also adjust manually. So the next one is uh, light. You can change the brightness, you can change the black contrast exposure and all the basic adjustments. Then you have details. In this case, you can sharpen the image or you can increase or decrease the clarity and the smoothness as well. Then you have the toning. In this case, you'll be able to access a split toning effect. So you can assign a different color to the highlights and then you can assign a different colors to the shadows as well. So let's say we're gonna assign a yellow one. You can also choose manually. Actually, let's go in the orange and then maybe I want it more yellow. Yeah, maybe this one, you can change the amount. And as you can see, when I increase the amount, actually the highlights have been changing towards yellow color. And then you can also set the shadows. Maybe let's set it blue. There you go. And then you can go stronger, you can go lighter, and depending on what kind of effect you want. Obviously, with these type of effects, you need to be very careful. Maybe this kind of 15 amount looks pretty great for me. This was the before and this is the after with the split toning. Depends obviously what you want. Let's leave it for zero at the moment. Also, if you want to check the before and after, let's say we put it at uh, 15, you can hold compare down uh, below and then you'll be able to see the before and after, before and after. So it's totally up to you. As you can see, Pixel X offers amazing features regarding basic adjustments and is extremely intuitive. Now, hear me out because in the second part of this video, we are actually going to go through features that will help you massively when editing portraits. So make sure to be subscribed and hit the notification bell to be notified when I port part two of this video. In case that one is already out, I'm going to link it down below in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one. Ciao.